So this weekend, the NASCAR Cup Series takes their second trip to a road course this season, heading out west to wine country to Sonoma Raceway. Let's preview Sears Point. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think heading into Sonoma? Who's your pick to win through the S's? All right, let's get to it. Sonoma has been a fixture on the Cup Series schedule for many years. A couple of years ago when there used to only be two road courses on the Cup Series schedule, it was Sonoma and Watkins Glen. Then the next year it was Sonoma and Watkins Glen. Then the next year it was Sonoma and Watkins Glen. So a lot of drivers consider Sonoma probably their best road course or one of their best road courses if we're talking about NASCAR, NASCAR Cup Series drivers because a lot of these drivers have so much experience driving in wine country. But saying all that, all that experience might not mean anything this weekend as Sonoma Raceway, as I've posted on the channel, I think a lot of you have heard that Sonoma Raceway a couple of months ago got repaved. Well, during that test session, I'm talking about before the track began to get torn up a couple of days later during a GT event. I really hope we don't see that happen again this time around. That would be pretty awful to see the track torn up during the race. I know... I know Denny would probably be raving about it. He's like, see, I told you this would happen. See, I can see Hamlin doing that if that happens. So it was reported during that test session that drivers were going up to four seconds faster on lap times because of this repave. That is insane. A lot of change. Like I mentioned, I don't know if experience is really going to necessarily matter for this weekend is because it's pretty much a whole new racetrack. With this repave, that much speed, it's going to be a different feel for a lot of these drivers. Of course, I got to bring it up every time I bring up Sonoma. I really wish we went to Sonoma earlier in the year so we have that really green grass. When they come here at this time of the year, everything's all dried out and it's just... it does. It, I'm used to it, so I guess it doesn't look that bad because I'm used to it. But when I compare it to pictures of Sonoma in like March, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful in the early spring there and then when they come here in june it's just all dried up it's it's awful but nonetheless i am looking forward to this weekend and seeing what sort of racing we could we could get this weekend at sonoma the last couple of races at sonoma i would say are weren't that great and that's just being generous but hopefully you can get changed up because we have a couple of new faces in the field this weekend we have a pair of drivers making their first career Cup Series start as the Supercars invasion continues as we have two Aussies coming to race in the Cup Series. One of them being Cam Waters. He's going to be racing for Roush Fenway Kozlowski Racing in the number 60 machine. A very talented race car driver. I think he actually won the last Supercars event. Very good race car driver. Has raced in, the, in NASCAR a little bit recently actually with Thor Sport racing in a couple of events, trying to get ready for NASCAR. It seems like he has aspirations when it comes to NASCAR and racing over here. We'll have to see what his future is, but I'm really looking forward to Waters. He's one of my favorite supercars, race car drivers. I really like his attitude, and we'll see what he can do on Sunday. I could expect Cam Waters to compete for a top 10, maybe even a top 5, but the other Aussie in the field, the other supercars driver in the field that's showing up, I expect him to compete for the win, and that is Will Brown. Will Brown, being the current points leader in supercars, was actually the driver that took over Shane Van Gisbergen's ride at Triple Eight in supercars after he left for America to join NASCAR. Will Brown has been killing it all season over there in supercars, and I know he's super excited to come over here to NASCAR. Me personally, I'm very excited for Will Brown to be driving for Richard Childress Racing in the 33. But I really wanted that to be Brody Kostecki. Brody Kostecki is my favorite. I'm still not sure what happened to Kostecki in the offseason. He left his supercars team of Erebus 
and there was a lot of rumors and drama going around that situation. I'm I'm still not sure exactly what had happened on why the him and the team separated at the beginning of the year. He just came back to supercars a couple of races ago. I'm not sure if it had anything to do with his NASCAR aspirations. Some people say that it might have. Either way, it's very unfortunate. I thought Brody did really well at the Indy Road Course. If he didn't wreck, I think he wrecked in qualifying. I really hope to see him over here in America racing in NASCAR eventually at some point because I know he has aspirations for it. He has raced in the ARCA series. But nonetheless, I think Will Brown will do a phenomenal job for the number 33 for Richard Childress Racing got the Mobile X on the car. So I guess that makes it an easy transition when it comes to the favorites. I would say right from the right off the bat, Will Brown is one of the favorites. I consider him one of the favorites to win. And before anybody asks, no, Shane Van Gisbergen isn't in the race. I'm honestly extremely surprised that not Colleague or Trackhouse tried to find a way to put him in a race car at Sonoma, I honestly find it a little bit confusing why they did not put him in a race car this weekend. He's automatically going to compete for the win. It's surprising, but he's not racing this weekend, unfortunately. AJ Allmendinger will be racing this weekend, though, and I expect him to compete for the win, even though he didn't do that great. He did good at Portland. Don't be wrong. He did good at Portland in the Xfinity Series. But I expected more out of him. I expect him to compete for the win at Sonoma. Another driver you can never look past when it comes to Sonoma because he's just always so good here. He's just always so good here. And that is Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. has won a couple of races at Sonoma at points. He's been completely dominant at this racetrack. So I expect him to be one of the big contenders for the win on Sunday. I would definitely keep an eye out on the two track house drivers of Ross Chastain and Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez, of course, getting his first win at Sonoma two years ago. Ross Chastain also winning at Coda two years ago. Both of these drivers are very talented road course racers. And at this point, when it comes to Hendrick, I would watch all four Hendrick drivers when it comes to a road course. All four of them at this point can get it done. Chase Elliott has been a great road course racer ever since he came to the sport. Kyle Larson is great everywhere. William Byron has really improved on the road courses. I've been really impressed with how much he's improved on the road courses. And Alex Bowman is sneaky good on the road courses. He's one of those drivers, never really competes for the win except for that time at Coda. He's usually just hanging around 5th, 6th. And he's just, he's just hanging out, waiting for his right moment. And if the right moment or opportunity comes, Bowman could get into victory lane. Another driver I would keep an eye out for that's also really improved on road courses, I think he actually got the pole here last season, was Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin is really fast at road courses, but he just can't seem to put a whole race together. Maybe he can do that this time at Sonoma. We'll have to see what he's able to do. I would also keep an eye out on Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, I wouldn't say, is one of the best road course racers. He's an above average. He's a good road course racer. But for some reason, Richard Childress Racing seemed to have such a great road course program. I don't know if that's higher-ups and engineers and this and that, or if it was just Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick was driving that number eight car for Richard Childress Racing and Ever since he left, that number eight car has still performed on road courses. When I've never seen Kyle Busch be a a big time talent at road courses, he has a he has a couple of road course wins, but I wouldn't consider him a road course ringer or anything like that. But ever since Reddick got out of the number eight car, that number eight has not fallen off on performance when it comes to road courses. Now that I've gone through some favorites, who do I think is actually going to win this race? Well, I just mentioned him a moment ago, and he's been pretty quiet, actually, the last couple of weeks. Had a really strong start to the season. Has had some great races this season. If you asked me after the first couple of weeks, I would consider this driver one of the prime championship contenders. And I think he's going to win on Sunday. That is Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick, a very talented race car driver, especially on the road courses. He's really helped develop a lot of drivers when it comes to road courses look at Bubba Wallace he's really helped 
Bubba Wallace improve on road courses. Denny Hamlin. He's really helped Denny Hamlin improve on road courses. He's a very talented race car driver, and I think he can get it done in Sonoma. Just needs to keep all four tires on the track. Like I mentioned, this track is a lot faster than it was last year. So if you make a mistake, it's only going to affect you that much more because of all these high speeds. It's not like it's not like the outside of the track has gotten repaved and it's all of a sudden faster out in the dirt. It's still the same speed out in the dirt. So if you get out in the dirt, you're going to lose a couple extra tenths, if not a whole second or two, because of how fast this racetrack is. I can't imagine. I'm real excited. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm real excited to see these drivers fly through the S's. This is going to be a very entertaining race, at least at first. If they get spread out, who knows? That might not be quite as good, but we'll have to see how the race goes. And who's my big underdog? He was the first driver I named as a favorite, but I don't think a lot of people are circling him to win the race because he's never raced in the Cup Series. He's never even raced a NASCAR stock car before. And that is Supercars points leader, Will Brown. Will Brown, a very talented race car driver. Obviously, he can get it done on the road courses. It just really depends on how quickly he's able to adjust to the next-gen car. You saw how quickly Shane was able to adjust. If he's able to adjust to that sort of speed, adjust as quickly as SVG did, and in the process of that, I think he'll compete for the win on Sunday. But let me know all your thoughts below. What do you think about this Supercars invasion? All these different Supercars drivers. You got Aussies. You got Kiwis coming over to the States to race road courses, to race ovals. What are your thoughts on that? And do you think a driver like Will Brown could actually be a big-time contender for the win? Also, who do you think is going to win the race? Who's your pick to win at Sonoma Raceway on Sunday? But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.